When you watch like an NFL football game, did you have you like watched the advertising? Like how much of a fucking like psycho loser they think you are? First of all, they're running that fucking that ad every ten minutes. Don't hit women. No more. No more. She slipped on the coffee cake. No more. I ac- I was stretching and accidentally pushed her down the stairs. No more. No more. Uh, we were playing football and she tried to block a kick. She tried to block the uh, the punt. Dude, she was roughing me. She's not supposed to run into the kick. It ain't fault of my fault. My fucking sneaker hit her face, you know. Um, so they got that going. So basically, wife, they think we're wife beaters. All right. Every five seconds, you got some sort of, you know, your dick doesn't get hard. and You're going bald. You're a balding, limp dick wife beater. Right. And then they run the, the fucking DraftKings. You're a degenerate gambler. You're a degenerate gambling, bald, limp dick fucking wife beater. Nothing positive. That fucking no more commercial fucking annoys me because I feel like they're yelling at me and I don't hit women. So why don't you fucking tone it down a little bit? Okay. I actually tweeted this out. You know, when you watch a WNBA game, do they start yelling at all the broads watching that shit? You know, no more marrying a guy just because he's got money. But you don't love him. No more, I'm used to a certain lifestyle. Do they do that shit? Of course they don't. It'd be considered, I don't know, something fucking wrong with it. That whole No More campaign, and everybody's dressed all in black, you know, they think on the cover of the fucking Beatles album. You know, my favorite part of all of it, can somebody please explain to me how they didn't do a, like, didn't do any sort of background check on Ice T and he got in that fucking commercial? According to his albums, wasn't he a pimp at some point? I don't know. I don't know much about the pimpet game, but as far as I know, you know, if you started off as a pimp, you probably made your first million smacking bitches every couple of seconds. Huh? Bitch, where's my money? (laughs) Oh, I love Ice-T. Every time you fucking see that guy, he's always talking about the street. You know, yo, I can make I can make five grand in 20 minutes every fucking time. I don't give a fuck what you bring up. Ice-T is going to bring up the street and how much money he could make how quickly. Hey, Ice-T, isn't it a beautiful day out here? I'll tell you what's beautiful. When I was out on the street, I could make five grand in 20 minutes. Yeah, I was just kind of talking about the weather. (laughs) Every fucking one of those vh1 things from 10 years ago all those behind the musics anything blah 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 well, i don't give a fuck what they were talking about ice t eventually came on and told you that he could make five grand in 20 minutes when i was out on the street the pimping game see the pimping game oh shut up about the fucking pimping game hey no that thing, whole thing is romanticized see when you get some runaway to go out and sell her pussy for money there's an art to it is it you fucking creep you know what's funny? I don't even know. Was he, a, was he a pimp? All those albums fucking ran together. They all came out. They were so fucking overwhelming when I first heard them. You know, I'm sitting here, a little white boy living in the cul-de-sac, and all of a sudden, Easy e and all these guys came out. I, I couldn't keep up with who was getting shot, who was getting smacked. So I might be wrong on that one, but am I the only one who was like, wait a minute. That's that guy who can make five grand in 20 minutes, smacking bitches out there and selling crack, Right. No more. (laughs) Ah, Jesus. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about.